Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we learned how to set up Detectron 2 on Windows or Linux. And then we used point rend to generate accurate masks that nicely followed the object boundaries. In today's video, we'll learn how to set up Detectron 2 on Google Colab. So let's get started. First of all, open Google Colab and click on new notebook. This will take you to an empty Colab notebook. Now go to edit and then notebook settings, select GPU as hardware accelerator and click save. Click on connect and once the notebook is connected, start by installing the required libraries. Installing libraries in Google Colab is really easy. Just use pip install and then library name. I'm going to install pyyaml version 5.1. Next, we need to install Torch and CUDA. To install those, issue this command. I will put this command in the description below so that you do not make any mistakes while typing it and install exact same versions that I have. After the successful installation, we will import Torch and check the installed versions and whether or not it is CUDA compatible. Torch with CUDA support is installed and we are now ready to install Detectron 2. To install Detectron 2, issue this command. Notice that we have installed Torch 1.7 with CUDA 10.1 and I am installing Detectron 2 for Torch 1.7 with CUDA 10.1 as well. This is important, so if you have used different versions for Torch or CUDA, make sure you use respective versions of the Detectron 2 as well. Once the installation is done without any errors, you need to restart the runtime so that newly installed libraries are loaded. Now we are ready to import Detectron 2 and run inferencing. We will need to import Detectron 2 setup logger and initialize it. Then we also need to import model zoo, default predictor, get CFG, visualizer, metadata catalog and dataset catalog. To load the images and show the results, import CV2 as well. But we also need to import Google Colab compatible CV2 IM show function separately. Now let's import some images for demonstration purposes. I'm not mounting my Google Drive, I'm just uploading the images on the temporary workspace which is cleared after you restart the runtime, which is okay for this tutorial. So let's read this image and show it. Alright, now we will initialize get underscore cfg method and then we need to get model config file from model zoo. You can find the links to all the pre-trained models on detectron 2 model zoo. So let's suppose if you want to do object detection, we can scroll down to object detection section and copy link of any model and paste here. Remove all the text before coco dash detection and that's it. Now we need to set model weights file. It is really easy. We can use model underscore zoo dot get underscore checkpoint underscore URL and use the same URL that we pasted earlier for the config file. Let's set the confidence threshold to 0.6 for object detection. Initialize default predictor with our CFG and provide the image to this predictor. The respective model will be downloaded automatically and the predictions will be saved in the outputs. Finally, we need to call visualizer on this image. Image is loaded by OpenCV in BGR format. So let's swap the B and R channels to convert it to RGB. Then call the metadata catalog for train dataset. Now we can invoke draw underscore instance underscore predictions method of this visualizer on the outputs and then show the results after converting it back to BGR. And here we have the results for object detection. If you want to perform instance segmentation, it's really easy. Go back to Detectron 2 model zoo and scroll to instance segmentation section. Copy link of any model. Come back to our code and paste the link for the config file. 
remove all the text before coco dash instance segmentation and replace the weights file with this new link as well that's it this time it will run instance segmentation so that's great but if you are not happy with the results of segmentation mask as it's going outside the boundary of the object you should check point rent segmentation which is more accurate the code from our previous tutorial also works in the google collab so if you want to use all other pre-trained detectron 2 models such as key points detection or panoptic segmentation we already have covered that in our previous video check that out the method to use all the pre-trained models is exactly the same on google collab and on local computer in our next video we will learn how to train detectron 2 on custom dataset so subscribe to the channel and leave a like i will see you next time